Hi, my name is Guillaume and I'm a software engineer at Trust One Team. Today I'm going to show you how to run the Trust One Gateway as a Docker container and how to access its components. The Trust One Gateway is an open source, lightweight API gateway with a focus on speed, scalability, and resilience, and this from a developer perspective. It is made up of the Kong API Gateway, the Keycloak Identity Provider, or IDP, our own custom Trust One Gateway engine, and its two front end management components, the Marketplace and Publisher. To run the Trust One Gateway as a Docker container, you'll require a few things. First of all, is Docker itself. If you haven't already done so, visit the Docker installation manual at the address in the comment section below and install. I'll wait. Okay, now that that's done, the only other thing you need is to have ports 3000, 3003, 8000, and 28080 available. Additionally, you can also free up ports 8001 and 5433, but they are not strictly necessary. Copy the link from the comment section below and head on over to the Trust One Gateway Docker Hub page. As you can see, you can find detailed information on the container here. But for now, let's copy the docker pull command in the upper right corner and open a terminal or command prompt and paste it and execute it. I've already pulled the image and as such do not need to wait, but you might have to wait a few minutes until it's done and depending on your internet connection speed. While you wait, head back to the docker hub and copy the run command because we'll need it as soon as it's done. Once we've pulled the image, paste the command in the terminal or command prompt and press enter. Congratulations, you've got the Trust One Gateway Docker container running. Now let's take a look at the individual components. Go back to your browser and navigate to localhost 28080 odd and open the IDP administration console. Check our Gitbook or Docker Hub for the credentials and log in. Consider Realm to be a separate space for your users and clients, and the Trust One Gateway Realm is the only one we will be using in this demo. From this console, you can add and configure various social logins, such as Facebook, Google, GitHub, and more. You can federate users from an LDAP or ADFS directory, or you can add your own custom users. We'll refer you to the Keycloak documentation for more detailed steps on how to do that. Next, we have the Kong API Gateway. While the Trust One Gateway manages it for you, the Kong Admin REST API is available on localhost port 8001. You can access it through a REST tool like Postman, or through a third-party tool such as the Kong Dashboard. At the core of the Trust One Gateway and its components is the engine. It offers a REST API and is meant to be used through and in conjunction with the Kong API Gateway, but it's also available directly through the bundled Swagger UI in this demo container. It is made up of two components, the auth module, which requires an API key, and the web module, which requires both an API key and a JSON web token to access. Take a look at the Swagger documentation for more details, and you can also use it to generate stubs or clients using the Swagger code gem. And finally, the Trust One Gateway engine has its own UI components. The publisher, available on port 3003, where the developer can expose and publish his or her APIs as a service. And the marketplace, available on port 3000, where applications can be created to consume said services. We will not go into detail here, as both components have their own guides, to which I've linked in the comment. You can also find all the necessary links and credentials in the gitbook this video is based on. I hope you've enjoyed this guide, and check back later for more.